Vogue, over the next few weeks, I'm gonna give you some easy inspiration and essential tips on how to create the perfect dinner menu. Today, I'm gonna to show you what to eat and what to drink. I recently took a masterclass with sommelier and Australian Penfolds ambassador, Zoe Warrington, and she taught me a lot of interesting things about the perfect Penfolds pairing. I thought I'd share some of these tips with you for the next time that you're entertaining. You can never win. Today, I'm gonna to prepare one of my favorite meals. So I thought I'd kick off this series with an easy one. It requires no cooking at all. I'm going to prepare the world's greatest cheese platter. Champagne, a real champagne like this, is a great way to start the evening or to finish it off, or even as a palate cleanser. Penfolds made this bottle in collaboration with French champagne house Champagne Tierno. It was made in celebration of 175 years of Penfolds. It's the first of three champagnes to be released and the other two will follow later this year. It pairs nicely with this platter and with a great Chardonnay. Penfolds Max's Chardonnay is a really versatile wine. It's white, of course, but it has a lot of body to it. It has what they call in the trade, backbone. It's vibrant without being too dominant. It's the red wine drinker's white. If you see someone putting ice cubes in their Chardonnay, stop them. Chilling wine too cold dulls the flavor, and trust me, you don't want to miss this. If you insist on chilled wine, Zoe says to try a frozen grape. It won't dilute the wine like ice does. 